Welcome back to Life Enrichment with Hank Ballinger. Today I want to talk about why, if you want to build wealth or if you want to set goals and accomplish those goals, why do you need to surround yourself with entrepreneurs? Very interesting. If, if you're going to do anything uh, to set goals, to, to accomplish, you need to surround yourself with whatever you want to accomplish. If it's writing a book, you need to surround yourself with people that write books. If you want to uh, uh, be an actor, you need to start running around with actors. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you need to surround yourself with entrepreneurs. That's just the way life is. So before we get into this, I, I do want to say I appreciate those who watch the channel. If you can, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We would greatly appreciate it. Tell others, uh, share it on Facebook. We would greatly appreciate that. Now, why do you need to surround yourself with entrepreneurs? Well, let's look at a few things that it's just natural. It's even in nature. Let's look at this. A clouder of cats, that's what they call a bunch of cats that run together. When you have a bunch of cats, they call them a clouder of cats. A pack of dogs, a bunch of dogs that run together. A herd of cattle, a bunch of cows that run together, a herd of cattle. A pride of lions. So all these things have something in common. All these cats run together. Dogs run together. Cattle run together. Lions run together. We could do the same with a flock of seagulls or, or birds. All things generally tend to migrate to their own kind. That's a very important lesson in life. Now, why do you want to do that? Uh, me and my wife was looking just a while ago at this word right here. I never can spell this word right. I think I actually spelled it right that time, maybe. But I got to looking in this, and I noticed there are four E's in, the, in this word. And my wife said, there's no I in entrepreneur. That's true. You, you've heard the phrase, there's no I in team. There is no I in entrepreneur. You need to surround yourself with others, not others who have no clue what you're talking about. Others who are entrepreneurs who can help you and you help them. You can work together. Interesting in these animal kinds, when they surround themselves with like kind, it makes the whole stronger, smarter, and more adaptable. If, if you see a bunch of lions chasing down a zebra, you ever notice most of the time it's, they don't, if there's 10 of them, Nine doesn't sit back and just watch the one. Hopefully he can get it. No, they will gang up on that uh, zebra or uh, uh, gazelle or whatever it is. They will gang up on it because it's much easier. And the, and the pride together has a much easier task than just one trying to do it themselves. Very interesting lesson. So if you want to build wealth or set goals and accomplish those goals, you will have to surround yourself with like kind. Now, entrepreneurship is a really interesting aspect of life. You never know what you may have to do to be an entrepreneur. Every entrepreneur is different. There, there are, it's kind of like fingerprints. There are no two alike. Every entrepreneur thinks different, but every entrepreneur can help other entrepreneurs. Now, there are some people who are entrepreneurs. And there is a, another aspect of building wealth, a, a group called intrapreneurs. Now, generally an entrepreneur is the guy who goes out and he's willing to start the company, he's willing to take risks, He's willing to, to do things maybe a little different. But generally, the entrepreneur is the guy who's kind of back in the shadows. He's not out front. He's not the guy who it's his company. He's not the guy who takes the risk. He's the guy who helps the entrepreneur. Now, most people know Warren Buffett. Most people, if you really study Warren Buffett or macroeconomics or, or people who are in the stock market, 
Most people know Warren Buffett's right-hand man. His name is Charlie Munger. And Charlie Munger also is a billionaire because of his knowledge and the way that he helps Warren Buffett and Berkshire Hathaway. I don't know that uh, Charlie Munger would have been as successful had he just gone out on his own and tried to, to do his own thing. Maybe, maybe not. Very smart guy. But some people are better at helping entrepreneurs than being the entrepreneur themselves. Most people remember Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs had a guy that helped him. His name was Steve Wozniak. Most people call him the great and powerful Woz. Very intelligent man. But could he have been the entrepreneur Steve Jobs was? I don't know. He's a very smart guy, very uh, you know, a credible guy in and of himself. But there are many people who are not the entrepreneur. They are the intrapreneur. Now, as an entrepreneur, sometimes you may want to look for that guy or that girl, that person who can help you. Because remember, there are no eyes in entrepreneur. Now, let's go over this. 61%. This is crazy. America is the greatest nation since Adam and Eve. The greatest nation of all time. The most powerful, the wealthiest nation of all time. And look at this. 61% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. If they don't get that next paycheck, they are under, they're gone, they're out. That is crazy, isn't it? If you want to be an entrepreneur, you can't live like this because it's hard to build wealth. It's hard to set goals and accomplish those goals. If you're strapped and you're constantly having to go to work, maybe do two jobs, you can't concentrate on the things you need to do because you're having to concentrate on what somebody else wants you to do just to get that paycheck, just so you can make that car payment, just so you can make that house payment or rent payment, just so you can buy the groceries, pay the insurance go on that really lavished vacation, buy that Rolex watch, you see where that's going. That is not things that people need to do, but they do it and that's why they live paycheck to paycheck. Now, not only do 61% of Americans, the people in America, this is not worldwide, 61% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. Some people may say, well, yeah, but that's, that's the lower bracket. That's the people that don't really have a lot of money. I would beg to differ. 45% of Americans with incomes $100,000 per year or more, 45% live paycheck to paycheck. See, that is a broke mentality, a poor person's mentality. There's poor, middle class, and wealthy. The poor every month spend everything they make. They have to get that next paycheck. Now, the middle class save. They put money in savings, 401s, 403s, SEPs, IRAs, Roths, all kinds of saving instruments. What happens to that money when they put it in there? The wealthy take that money and put it to work and get it moving, and then they make a lot of money from it, and then they give some crumbs to the middle class. Not trying to be mean or, or uh, just spiteful or hateful or anything. That's just the system. The wealthy do not let money sit. They put it to work. They put it out, get it back, put it out, get it back, put it out, get it back. Every time it comes back, it's bigger. That's the way it works. If you stop money, it's called currency for a reason. A current in water, it has to be moving or it's a pond. A, a, a river, it moves. It's got current. It's moving. Same with electricity. It's moving. It has force. It has power when it's moving. When you stop it, it has no power. So Americans, middle class, they stop money. They try to put it in savings. When you stop it, you lose the power and you're not going to make very much. The wealthy, they put it out, get it back, put it out, get it back. They keep it moving and they build wealth. So you have to get control of your finances. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you want to set those goals and you want to accomplish those goals, whatever your goals may be, whatever can fulfill your life and, and be better for mankind, whatever will do that for you, set those goals, be, a, be the entrepreneur, 
but you need to surround yourself with other entrepreneurs, read books, listen to, to CDs, uh, audio books. There's thousands of podcasts out there, literally thousands, probably millions of podcasts and videos out there that you can listen to to help you become an entrepreneur. Now, again, you will need to surround yourself. If, if I have to build wealth by my knowledge only, I'm not going to be very successful. It's better if I surround myself with good people that when there's something I don't know, they will. They will fill the gaps of the things that I don't know. And that can sometimes be a lot of gaps. So you will need those people. Now, none of these people, these 61% of all Americans that live paycheck to paycheck and 45% of Americans who make $100,000 or more, none of these people can manage money. Therefore, they cannot accomplish the goals unless they change their minds and surround themselves with entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs figure out how to get control of money, how to get control of wealth, how to get control of their dreams and their goals. And they set those goals and they don't let anything stop them from achieving those goals. That's very important. Your goal may not be to build wealth and that's fine. But what is your goal? If you say, well, I'm not real sure. You, you need to have a goal. Set some goals. Put those goals on paper. I tell people all the time, if you don't have goals on paper, you don't have goals. That's just the long and short of it. If you don't write them down, you don't have them. A lot of people say, yeah, but, but I got them. I know what they are. No, you don't have goals. You have to write them down. Make them concise. Make them something on a, on a single sheet of paper that you can see often. And usually what I do is one year, five year, 10 year, and lifetime goals. Now, if you do that and you put that sheet of paper where you can see it, it's a reminder. Hey, I've got to do this this year. I've got to accomplish this this year. I've got to do this. It pushes you. You need to be that person. Now, it is so easy to listen to excuses from others. Oh, you can't build wealth nowadays, or you can't set goals. Uh, the, the system's against you. The man, he's, he's got it. He's keeping you suppressed. He's keeping you down. The man won't let you get ahead. The man won't let you do this. You have got to set those goals. You've got to push and push and push until those goals happen. Now, if, if there comes a hurdle, if you're going to be an entrepreneur, there will be hurdles, a lot of them. You've got to go over them around them, under them, or through them. One way or another, you're going to get on the other side of that hurdle. It will happen. You can be an entrepreneur. You will need to surround yourself with other entrepreneurs. Listen to, to books, uh, audio books, read books, CDs, podcasts. You can do this. You can set those goals. You can become Redneck Rich. See you on the next video.